Hey everyone, it's a great day in sports analytics. My name is Victor Holman, sports analytics expert, and welcome to the sports analytics three minute drill, where I break down sports analytic methods and explain how they're being used today in the world of sports. Today I'm gonna to discuss subjects and variables, and more specifically, identifying subjects and variables in sports data. Now, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. Subjects and Variables in Sports Analytics Analytic methods organize and analyze data in order to look for patterns to help in the decision-making process. Statistical models are capable of sifting through vast quantities of information in a very short period of time. This is extremely useful in the world of sports as the amount of data collected by the various leagues continues to grow each year. When we talk about data, we are referring to subjects and variables. Data is collected on a variety of subjects. Subjects can be individual players, teams, games, seasons, plays, coaches, etc. The same subject can be used in different ways depending on exactly what analysis is required. If we are comparing pitchers, we could compare Justin Verlander and Clayton Kershaw regarding their runs allowed per game in a season. In this case, both Verlander and Kershaw are the subjects. Alternatively, we could compare Justin Verlander in the 2016-2017 season to Justin Verlander in the 2017-2018 season. In this case, we are using Verlander as two different subjects in the same analysis. A variable is the specific characteristic of the subjects that is being measured. If we look at National Basketball League players for a season, some possible variables would be points scored, shots taken, and games played. The list goes on and on. After deciding on the subject, it is necessary to decide on which variable or variables are going to be included in the analysis. From there, the type of analysis needs to be chosen, which is dependent on the properties of the variables and the patterns being studied. Variables can be either qualitative or quantitative. Qualitative variables are those that do not have a number associated with them. If you are comparing left-handed shooters to right-handed shooters, you are looking at qualitative or categorical variables. Data analysis is more limited with this type of variable. Quantitative variables, on the other hand, do have numbers associated with them. Examples are number of shots made, number of goals, or assists. Data analysis is indefinitely diverse when dealing with numerical data. The infinitely wide range of variables and subjects allows analysts to continually come up with new ideas for areas to study. The research never ends, with new ideas being presented all the time. Analysts are always looking for new ideas and patterns that can help their team gain an advantage over the competition. Teams can study any combination of subjects and variables. When they are investigating possible trades or draft picks, they can examine a broad range of subjects and variables to narrow down their choices. Then they can decide to examine a few very specific variables to help in the decision between their top choices. This gives coaches the flexibility to look at the overall player or at one very specific aspect of the player. This idea is also applicable when focusing on the entire team. They can look at how the team is working together as a whole overall or look at only the offensive players or narrow it down even further to only offensive linemen. This allows coaches to develop strategies individualized for each player and, at the same time, strategies for the team as a whole. Thankfully, statistical models are able to take in large amounts of data and analyze the information in a very short period of time. This was simply not feasible before computers became an everyday object in our society. And that's subjects and variables applied in sports analytics in three minutes. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to learn about a groundbreaking approach for leveraging analytics to get players to execute team strategy, check out my Agile Sports Analytics framework, software, and mobile app. 
if you'd like to know how your team or sports organization can leverage analytics across the seven key maturity areas and 26 best practices, check out my sports analytics maturity model and take the free comprehensive sports analytics maturity assessment. To learn more about this and 150 different sports analytic methods, purchase my book, Sports Analytics from A to Z, available on Amazon. And if you need help developing analytic models that create a competitive edge, contact me for a free consultation at www.agilesportsanalytics.com or call me at 888-861-8733.